Hello everyone, my name is Phil from the YouTube channel City Planner Plays. Today I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you another tutorial on the City Skylines Airports DLC and the new airport progression game mechanic. We'll be taking a look at this mechanic in the city of Trattoria, which has been built without any mods. Though I'm playing on a PC, this tutorial is applicable for all players, including those on console. In the previous video, we took an empty field and built Trattoria Metropolitan Airport. This is a basic airport with one runway, two aircraft stands, and two control towers attached to a small, single-story airport terminal. The star above the airport's name indicates the level of the airport. Clicking on this will provide information about the airport's progression and what is needed to level up. Airports have the ability to progress three levels. To progress through each level, the airport must reach certain passenger count and attractiveness thresholds set for the current level. Leveling up your airport is important if you want to grow a small regional airport into a large international airport. At level 1, a number of small airport facilities are available to you including small terminals, concourses, control towers, small aircraft stands, small hangars, small parked planes, budget airport hotels, and airport bus stations. Progressing to level 2 will afford you the ability to place a number of larger amenities, including large terminals, concourse hubs, medium aircraft stands, large hangars, luxury airport hotels, airline lounges, aviation fuel stations, medium-sized parked planes, and elevated airport metro stations. The final level, level 3, gives you the option to install large aircraft stands that can accommodate larger aircraft, large parked planes, airport train stations, cargo airports, an aviation museum, and an airline headquarters. For Trattoria Metropolitan Airport to reach the next level, the attractiveness score will need to be at least 200 and a minimum of 500 passengers will need to be served. The current attractiveness score is 160, which has been achieved because each of the control towers has an attractiveness score of 80. Adding a budget hotel will increase the score by 40 for a total score of 200, the score needed to reach the next level. In addition to attractiveness, your airport will need to meet the passenger service threshold to level up. Airport attractiveness, as well as transportation connections to tourist destinations, can increase utilization of your airport. Transit service, taxis, or setting the new car rentals policy can increase the utilization of your airport. We will cover public transportation in more detail in the next tutorial in this series. Once you've reached level 2, many of the same tactics can be used to reach level 3. However, you may want to try a couple of new things, such as the hotel discounts policy, which will give you 200 base attractiveness points. As previously mentioned, reaching level 3 allows you to place the airline headquarters building. Placing this building will allow you to found your very own airline. Founding an airline will give you the opportunity to change the appearance of your airplanes, as well as the opportunity to generate additional income from tourists through ticket sales. It will also provide you the opportunity to create a cargo airport, which will improve the efficiency of your cargo network. We will go over cargo airports in further detail in an upcoming tutorial. As you level up your airport, do not be afraid to reconfigure it. Experiment and try new things. Much like cities, airports are constantly evolving and yours can too. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel to be alerted when the next video in this series is released, which will be covering airport public transportation. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.